This is your five-minute tech tip on Google Docs research. I'm currently in a Google Doc. Um, jo Joan, have you used Google Docs research? I have, and um, we do a little bit of uh, training with teachers on how to use this research tool as well. It's a nice little tool that a lot of people don't realize are there, don't realize the power of it. Um, right now I'm in a Google Doc. This is a, an article that I'm working on. Um, and if I go up to tools, there's this research. And you pop it open, and it, and it has a little um, sidebar that you can do research in, or you can do searches in. So I could, you know, select something and say, oh, I don't know what this means, or I remember I need to cite something here. And so I might hit that, and it does a nice little Google search. And it gives me some, uh, some information on what I searched, personal learning networks. Um, it gives me some books, some PDFs, some images, the web results uh, for different articles and things like that. So then I could say, hmm, this is the article I used and I want to cite that. I have the option here to cite as a footnote without even opening the, the, the document because say I might have known that I used that before, but say I haven't known that I used that before and I'm looking for something um, to use, I could say, oh, well, let's see what Wikipedia says. You can click on it and it'll open the page for you. Um, or you can go back. So I could click on it and open it up, or I can just insert the link into the document and it inserts it right there for me. Uh, so that, that's a good way to see, uh, preview them. And if you hover over them, you can see they pop up a little bit. It previews and the those images. For you. That's right. Yeah, those so images you can actually click and drag as well. Right, right. And what I like about these images is they're all um, Creative Commons ready. Um, so you can find Creative Commons images directly in your Google Doc using the research tool. Um, so when I do lengthy research papers, and I encourage my students to as well, um, I'm constantly referring back to this. Um, instead of having to go between different windows, I have all, all I need right here, and I can refer back to certain things that I might have cited or I need to cite more. Um, now the citing does MLA format. Um, you can switch it up above, I believe, with the little drop down right underneath it, your search term. Yeah, but when it does the footnotes, there we go. Footnoting is not part of APA, so it doesn't always do that one correctly. Um, but right there, you can see the image image results to search by free to use or share commercially. Uh, so that's helpful right here, a little tool, the research tool that's under tools and research. And I'd like to point out it's also available in Google Slides. One of the other features that you'll find in Google Slides is the ability to search videos. And they are always uh, non-commercial videos. You do not see any ads um, within this research tool. And what I find is that they are very school appropriate videos as well. So that's your five minute tech tip on Google Docs research.